Hi, thanks for joining us today. We're here at Grow Socially, and we have Graham Spector, our social media Hello. specialist, going to answer some burning questions from LinkedIn that we had off of Facebook. Um, and for those of you keeping track, I would like to point out I was absolutely wearing this same shirt in the last video. Mm. Very nice. It is. I, it's a nice shirt. I like nice. the one underneath. The, the better. Sword. Yeah. I'm not a nerd at all. <laughs> Aren't we all? Yeah. So I, I guess basically what we did was we made a video last week. We're going to link you guys to that right now. But uh, we got some quick questions, Some maybe get some answers on uh, how to help out on LinkedIn. People looking yeah. to do better with their profiles and enhance that stuff. So I talk to a few students uh, now and then on the street for change. Uh, just handing out advice and money yeah. on the street. Yeah. And they like to ask how they can actually use LinkedIn to not only land an internship, but also a job. These are students who are not just in college, but fresh out of college, who yeah. know that there's a social networking site out there uh, that's used for professional service and used to see what opportunities are out there and to also engage. But they really don't know how to take those first few initial steps. So I'm happy to answer whatever questions that awesome. we uh, got submitted. Cool. Yeah, so I guess we'll, we'll start it off. Our first question, uh, what are the three most important features of LinkedIn? I would say the three most important features of LinkedIn are going to be, number one, your profile and resume. You want to have that uh, as chock full of information as much as you can. Uh, number two would be to integrate it with your Twitter feed to always make sure that you're constantly updating and you're always talking about uh, whatever is going on in an industry that interests you. Number three is going to be absolutely the maybe the last but most important uh, feature on the site is the groups and discussions uh, features. You want to go in those groups that are either run by companies or they're for people in a certain industry and you want to engage with these people, you want to interact, uh, you want to comment back on whatever content's being shared, you want to chime in on whatever big news story is going on. It's an opportunity for you to get known, it's an opportunity for you to uh, kind of be introduced in a way to professionals in an industry that interests you, but it's also an opportunity for you to show your knowledge in uh, that profession. Awesome. Yeah, so basically you want it to be as active as possible, right? You want to be as active as possible and uh, be as active as possible. You do need to integrate a few mm -hmm. different social media sites and that's why the Twitter to LinkedIn feature is so key, yeah. especially if you plan on tweeting about professional related things. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that goes along with, without saying is having a professional Twitter. You wouldn't want uh, like my sweet baby is your Twitter handle. You don't want to throw anything out there that you don't want uh, someone sitting across from the table at a job interview not yeah. seeing. Uh, just a rule of thumb. Not, you'd be surprised how many people don't get that. But. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Well, number two, uh, can LinkedIn actually find me a job? It absolutely can. Uh, a, a lot of people think that a professional social networking site like LinkedIn is going to lead them to a dead end where uh, they're just going to be talking to people who are also unemployed who are you know, dreaming of one day being a graphic designer or something like that and they're just talking about graphic design without seeing any real opportunities because they'll go on the job uh, listing section of LinkedIn, which does exist. There is a job listing section of LinkedIn, just as there is on Monster or Craigslist or anything like that. There are job listings. Uh, but they don't see one right away for where they live and what they want to do. So they think immediately, there's no opportunities here at all. That's not really the case. If you're going in and interacting and engaging with the connections you're making, these lead to all sorts of different opportunities yeah. for someone who's looking for any kind of work. Yeah, we can actually got a few people in the office. I think that we hired off of LinkedIn. Absolutely. So I think that's uh, does work. So um, another question we have: Would do companies actually use LinkedIn to find employees? And like I said, I mean we have, but looking for prospects and looking for employees, I think LinkedIn is essential. Uh, it's kind of rule of thumb any media savvy company, yeah. such as Grow Socially. Uh, we absolutely look at uh, prospects. Uh, LinkedIn profile. We are checking them out on Twitter. We're doing all that. Facebook, all that. Uh, Googling your name. Yes, we do. But LinkedIn, yes, absolutely. Companies are doing it. The company page feature, which was introduced last fall, is a great way to stay in touch with any companies that may interest you. Uh, you can follow any company and then also see if they're hiring, if anyone uh, is left, has left the company, if there's a promotion, if there's a new opening, anything like that. You're going to be able to see on that page as well, but companies absolutely use it. And some companies, if they're really savvy, have the apply using LinkedIn little tab, and you, with one click, you submit yourself 
uh, and a resume to an open position from a company. All right, very nice. Um, another question we had, do, how do I search and how do I get my profile out to the public? So basically, how am I gonna actually look for potential employers and how am I actually gonna take what I have on my LinkedIn profile and make sure that they see it? There are a few things you can do. Uh, one, of course, is to if there is a position where you're able to apply with LinkedIn and you do see that little icon, go ahead and use your LinkedIn profile to uh, apply with that job directly. Now, of course, you wanna make sure your LinkedIn profile and your resume are basically identical word for word. Anything you put on your resume absolutely should be on LinkedIn and you should be involved in the groups uh, that you're a member of. If you used to work at an particular insurance company and they have a group on LinkedIn, if you're a member of that, you want to be participating weekly. Yeah. Um, another way you can get out and make sure your LinkedIn profile is seen is you want to tweet about it uh, so the people who are following you on Twitter can easily find you on LinkedIn. You also want to put your LinkedIn URL, uh, if it's customized or not, on the paper copy of your resume so people are able to connect with you there. If you're really savvy, you can put a QR code that redirects it to there, but we're not going to get super crazy yeah. on that. That's one day at a time. Maybe a mobile get. resume. Well, I don't know. <laughs> it's super crazy. <laughs> but yeah, you want to make sure people are definitely able to find you on LinkedIn. So a QR yeah. code, the URL, you want to make sure you're putting it at the bottom of every cover letter that you're either emailing or whatever weird job that you probably don't want anyway that would make you write in a cover letter. You want to make sure that people are able to find you either way. Yeah. All right. Another question is how do, what if, um, I don't know, some people maybe of different uh, fields of study or mm -hmm. um, how, how would I make my profile stand out to potential employers because the job market's huge these days mm -hmm. and obviously there's going to be people out there looking to find the same jobs I am. Right. How am I going to make my personal portfolio stand out to everybody else. You just want to be chock full of personality really and make sure that you have an opinion on everything. So, you know, your resume can look great. You can have all the experience in the world and have all the detail and dare I even say lies on your resume. Mm -hmm. You want to get attention. But if people don't know a name and a face to go with it, that resume is kind of worthless. So people are going to know your name and face when you're interacting and engaging with people on LinkedIn. So you want to make sure that LinkedIn profile is readily available from blog posts you might want to write. Uh, if you have a personal website, you want to make sure there's a link to it on there. And again, going back to the, tw uh, the tweeting and blogging aspect, if you produce any form of content that's uh, relative to an industry you're trying to get a job in, and so if you're really into photography and you have a t uh, photography blog, and you say you're available for freelance work, you want to make sure that it goes directly to your LinkedIn profile on that website. Nice, that's that definitely just uh, a little example. Important. Yeah. Um, another quick question, what kind of people should I connect with on LinkedIn? Everybody, everybody, because right. opportunities can lead everywhere. So I feel if, even, if you're one of those people who says, you know, I don't really, I'm not friends with this person, so maybe I shouldn't Facebook friend them. You want to have the opposite mentality on LinkedIn because every connection you don't make is an opportunity you have a chance to miss out on. Mm -hmm. So even if I'm like a theater major and I'm connecting with people in marketing or anything like that? Or An opportunity can really uh, lie anywhere, but yeah. the best way to really go about finding uh, the right connections is definitely through the groups because anyone there is going to have a similar interest and a similar outlook to you mm -hmm. and is also going to provide opportunities that might be of use to you either locally or professionally. Awesome. Uh, last question I had is how much personal information should be put up on LinkedIn? How much is too much and should I keep it basic? What's No such thing as too much information when it comes okay. to LinkedIn. You want to leave out no detail. Every club and student organization you're involved in in school, I know you're, you do everything at school at UMass, right? Quite a bit, yeah. You're a quarterback, right, I didn't know that. <laughs> Go, uh, Minutemen? Corsairs. Right out, whatever, yeah, whatever. I'm Curry Colonels, man, come on. <laughs> uh, you want to do everything. You want to put whatever interests you, whatever uh, clubs and organizations, even academically, uh, honor society, anything like that. Every job you've ever held from the temp gigs to bagging groceries, everything. Um, so you want to make sure there's absolutely no skill uh, left unshowcased, basically. Right. Awesome. Well, I mean, I appreciate you spending some time and answering a few questions for us. If you guys have any more questions, uh, you could always follow either one of us on Twitter. My name's uh, at Tom R. Barry. At Graham Spector. And uh, you could also follow Grow Socially. Visit us at www.growsocially.com. Thanks for tuning in.